So now we are going to talk about address which is another data type in the solidity and it is very new to this programming language. So now what are addresses there for? They are there for sending funds and mostly for account balances. So you can think of these two being the most important functions of an address. So let's declare a address. So this is the data type address, the visibility and the name. Let's say my ad. Done. Now just to see how is this working. Let's create a simple function to put in the address and we'll get the balance out of it. So let's put this as function get balance. No parameters needed. Then the visibility public. Then view. I'll talk about this view in a later stage. For now, just go through it. Returns basically for returning some values. The return type will be a uh, uint, you can say, because obviously the balance will return the balance will be returned as an integer value. So now in this, we'll write it as return. the identifier, my add, and then there are some very basic functions defined in Solidity, which helps us with this data types and their functioning. So uh, there is a function name as balance. So if you write this balance, so my add dot balance, it will directly return you the balance of this address, whichever is used for. So now, Let's try to deploy it. Deploy. So you can see there is my address. And it is basically initialized with 0x and all zeros. Now, we have already seen this. Okay, so now you have a get balance function which takes the balance. Now you can also put one more function which actually sets the address basically initializes this address. You can actually do it by a special function known as constructor. Let's say my add equal to Let's take any of the addresses out here. You can copy it from here. Then we'll put it out here. Okay. Just a second. Yeah. Okay. You'll put it out here and let's get it deployed. Deploy. Now let's check my address. Okay. This corresponds to the second address, not this address, this address. The one we have copied so now we have got this and then get balance so you can see this is 100 ethers we have so basically it is in way way is like 10 power 18 times ether so one ether is equal to 10 power 18 way so after that this my uh, now this might be having a total of 20 zeros so this is 100 ethers. You can calculate it. It's very easy out there. So you got to know about this address. So now some key points is that in blockchain there is a ledger that is shared by all the participants as you all know. And the information about balance owned by each account is stored in this ledger. So you have a total ledger and all the balances are basically stored. Now there is my add dot balance, which is the address uh, of this data type like address. You can name it anything and dot balance, which gives the balance in way. There is also a function known as transfer. So it will transfer money to the address you want. 
so now what uh, i'll tell you about it later because the smart contract needs some money which it will take and put it in this account the account we are telling so let's keep that aside for some time being next you have fixed point numbers or the decimal numbers you can say so you can basically put it as just follow the syntax right out here so this is the basically syntax for the fixed point numbers and then public name actually this is right now not implemented totally in the blockchain this is this is just basically an improvement proposal which has been sent so once it gets all set in the solidity we'll teach you this also